Peace everyone and welcome to another episode of The Third. I want to enlighten you all to not be like me. Please do not forget your big wins, big goals, and big accomplishments. I have an extremely bad habit of setting a huge goal, taking a whole month, whole year, hell, even two years to accomplish that goal. Writing it on the whiteboard, for you guys have no idea how long, and then executing it, seeing it to the end, and then totally forgetting about it. Here's an example. So today a friend of mine um, sent me a screenshot of them listening to my audiobook. I'm not saying this to seem cool, this is a real story. I completely forgot that I had a book in an audiobook. Something that I spent over a year writing uh, months of marketing and just a whole lot of thought and effort going into it going into it excuse me and I don't know it's a book I've always wanted to write it's a book about my life and I forgot about it huge deal uh, and it was just a wake-up call of here are people who listen to my this person says they listen to my audiobook every day to work for inspiration and here I am taking it for granted and forgetting about the audiobook example number two our lease is ending on our apartment and um, when we go back to Jersey we have to figure out where we want to stay so we're having a and we me and my girlfriend who's filming this by the way so anyway we are having a full-on conversation about where we're gonna stay when we go back to New Jersey what options do we have who can we stay with completely forgetting that we have a whole house that it took us a whole year to acquire, from saving up money to coming up with a strategy um, on how to acquire a multifamily home. Will we live in it? Will we get tenants in it? We opted to get tenants in it. One of the units is empty. And here we are in the backseat of an Uber on, in the, uh, on the way to the airport to go to New Jersey. We're in Atlanta now, pondering on where we're gonna stay in the future weekends because our lease is up on May 1st. Forgetting that we have a whole house, multifamily unit that we've put so much effort and energy into acquiring over the past year, really over the past two years of even just mental planning and getting ourselves in the correct mental space and making the proper decisions to put ourselves in a position to get that house, right? There's so many things that go into these, what I'll call accomplishments or milestones, but my point is we put all this work in to do things and maybe it's just me, it might not, this might not even apply to you, but I wanna make sure it never applies to you. We put all this work into accomplishing things, reaching goals, setting goals, um, prepping for these goals, and then we reach them and we're on to the next goal. And we never really take the time to celebrate, embellish, or, um, I don't know, hang the trophy is the analogy I use. So we work hard for the trophy and then we put it in the closet for the plaque. We don't hang it on the wall, put it somewhere where we can see every day and allow it to remind us and uplift us of why we're doing what we're doing and even maybe help push us toward a new goal, right? Allow those old goals to be motivation to it. For the new goals, we can't throw them in the closet or hide them or forget about them. And I have an extremely bad habit of forgetting about all of my accomplishments and goals and I wanted to shoot this episode specifically to be sure that none of you uh, adapt the same bad habit as you accomplish your goals as an entrepreneur and a person. So that is the episode for today. Excuse my slow talking and low voice and stuffy nose. I'm a bit under the weather, but I'm no less motivated and I'm no less here to help. So here you all are, episode whatever the hell it is of the third degree. Did I say the third degree or did I say the third? I think I said the third when I opened this up. It's late, it's like midnight. But anyway, another episode of The Third Degree. I'm Art Morrison. Hope you guys enjoyed that advice. Peace.